Hey guys, it's Dr. Kai, also known as Coach Kai. You know I am the owner and founder of Kaiism, where we provide simple solutions for those living in chaotic times. And boy, are we talking about some chaos. Conversation of the last couple of days have, has been, what? Entanglement. Yes, yes, yes. Honey, like and share this. <laughs> this is a conversation to be had. And I am just super, super excited about hearing what you think about entanglement. How many of you have been in situations where you and your significant other separated for some time, came back together, and then found out at some point later that there was an entanglement of sorts? Let me just be honest. Most of us, when we separate from our significant others, we separate on the basis that we need some time, we need some space. And you don't necessarily know whether or not you're going to stay together. You know, that place and time is really, really personal. And well, whatever happens, happens. If you all don't make an agreement before you do that split for that little bit of time, then yes, you put yourself in a position of finding out things you may not wanna hear. So let's talk a little bit about why these splits happen, right? Sometimes these splits happen, why? Because there's a misfortune in the relationship. You haven't necessarily talked to your partner, your husband, your wife about you being in a situation with someone else, right? There's a possible relationship uh, that you've had while you're in your marriage or, you know, a scenario where you are supposed to be uh, monogamous. And it happens, right? You're not transparent about what's going on. Most people would call it cheating, right? And so you split. But before you make the split, you make sure that it's amicable, right? You make sure you tell your mate, hey, look, I just need a little bit of space, a little bit of time. And then when you split, however you split, some of you want to explore. And look, I'm not saying whether or not it's right or wrong, but when you separate, let's, let's, let's put some parameters around it. Let's, Let's describe what that split looks like. I just want to know what what you all thought about the statement uh, about Jada, and of course that's who I'm talking about, and Will Smith um, at the real at the red table when they decided to have that conversation, or at least she decided to have a conversation of transparency with her husband at the red table. Of course, everybody's talking about it. There are memes out there now of Will Smith. There's memes out there now of Jada. Um, and it's just, it's absolutely interesting, right? And, and in the course of love and relationships, you're gonna have some ups and some downs in your relationships. And when you decide to split, because that's what you do, when you're trying to figure out whether or not you're going to, in fact, end your marriage, um, when things are really, really bad and you ask for that space between you and your mate, there's a possibility that the entanglements are going to happen more so than they would in the marriage. Why? Because people are exercising their rights to be who they are, to find themselves, to be um, not a part of the other situation that may have been so bad or so uncomfortable. I'll just put it out there. I've had a situation where I separated from a significant other. And yeah, um, along the way I met someone, I thought the individual was interesting enough for me to start a friendship with. And the relationship went further than either one of us thought it would go. And you know, I was well within my rights, right? I was tired of feeling a certain way in the previous relationship or during the split, um, feeling marginalized, feeling like 
things just really didn't matter because this individual kept cheating along the way through the years, right? And so I just felt like, look, I need to, to find out who I am at this point. I just felt like I needed to find who I was, wh what was happening in the world. I wanted to be a part of life and I felt like my life had been stagnated, this individual, whenever I would talk about my dreams, um, they would push my, squash my dreams as a matter of fact. Um, they would just make me feel like I was insignificant and that all of his dreams, his realities, um, it was all about him. So, yeah, so we did this split and for a while I didn't date, but like I said, I met someone. The entanglement happened <laughs> and I decided, you know what? It's okay, I, I recognize where I stood, and as a matter of fact, I realize where the other person stood. Um, did we try to go back? Yeah, we tried, to, we tried to pull it back together after the split, but it wasn't a situation where um, I could, or whether, whether or not you wanna believe it or not, whether or not he could even stomach having an idea that the entanglement happened, right? So you have to be aware that, you know, the other party may not be able to live with the thought. Now, here's the thing that, and, and I, I want to point it out to a lot of people. You heard the both of them say, both Jada and Will say that for bad or for worse, they were staying married. Now, I don't know how many pe people paid attention to that, right? For better or for worse. Now, I would say that, you know, that's a very interesting living situation to be in, and not everybody can do it, right? Not, not everybody can do it. You can live on one side of the house and the other person lives on the other side of the house, but at the end of the day, something has to give, right? And so I wish them lots of luck, but on this, in the same token, you know, you got to live with some truths. And I don't know whether or not Miss Jada actually told all her truths at that table. Um, and it was very interesting for Will to say at the table, um, you know, you got it. You got to put it all on the table for people to understand. And he wanted her to define what entanglement meant. Now, she danced all around that. Miss Jada, you danced all around that issue. Um, but the real deal would have been not to talk about this on live internet TV um, with the audience if you hadn't cleared the air with your husband. And so, okay, here's, here, here's the real reason why I'm talking to you guys. is because when you do a split in a relationship, remember, this, we're talking about love and relationships. When you do a split in a relationship, it is super, super important that you take the time out to make sure you clear the air. If the other party wants to know what you did, you have to, you have to decide whether or not you are able to speak your truth, right? Because walking back into a situation with more mysteries does not help resolve whatever the issue was when you guys split. It sounded as if at that table, um, there was going to be more discussion after they went off of the camera, right? Um, and I think she owes it to her husband, um, since it's bad marriage for life, to absolutely let him know what this entanglement really entailed. Um, and let Mr. Smith figure out whether or not he wants to continue the relationship. It is, in fact, something that for some people will be absolutely hard to live with. I, of course, for me, it, I, I was sitting back and I don't want to say um, surprised, but in a, a, a lot of ways I was taken back by the fact that you put this man on TV and you want it to be to free yourself, so to speak, of um, whatever it was that was sitting on your chest. And it looked like, Miss Jada, that you were talking about the fact that you were being honest about your relationship. But in fact, you were not, you were not. And it's, 
it's discouraging because there are a lot of people out here who are living these lies, right? And they're living these lies through these words um, and, and not being fair to their mates, right? How, how, how could you? How dare you, right? And so, <laughs> and I'm not being harsh, I'm not being harsh, but this is some real stuff here. We're talking about somebody else's feelings. Right? We're talking about someone else's feelings. And so for those of you who are out there living a lie in a relationship, please take the time out to understand what this feels like to the other individual that is involved in the relationship. It is not cool to continue to stay in a relationship. So this is being selfish and arrogant on your part um, to stay in a relationship, right? Um, and knowing that you have these secrets that you're not going to tell. Now, there are folks, and it sounds like these two folks may be in this situation, who both have secrets, who both have mysteries that they talk about, and they air them in a certain way where, uh, I'm not gonna tell you everything, I'm just gonna tell you a little bit. Either you tell it all, or you tell nothing, right? Because, of course, it's a split, and whatever happens when the two of you are out of each other's sights, in a split of sorts, then, maybe you should um, decide to keep that right where it is versus waiting a couple of years, four years, five years, seven years down the road and decide to be honest about what has happened or did happen in that relationship. It is not cool. It is not cool. We're everyday people and I'm expecting that as everyday people, we have some love, care, and transparency that happens between each other. And I don't think that they can continue to have a unsalty relationship because of course, as a woman, you worry about, oh, he's with that other chick, right? You know, why has he chosen her over me? And then, uh, and now guys get me if I'm wrong, most men are gonna think, well, was he better in bed than me? What's it about this guy that, you know, had this happen? Another reason why this is disturbing me so is that other people are out here and they're watching, right? There are, there are people in this society that are basing how they deal with their relationships based on what some of these people who are in public are doing. Based on love and relationships, there is the one thing that I would say is that you must do, you must decide as an individual, how honest do I wanna be and how long do I want this relationship to last? Am I in it to win it? Because if I'm in it to win it, we need to have an understanding across the board about things that have happened and things that have not happened. Um, we need to have an understanding about uh, where we go from here. I'm just like, I, I was sitting here just talking to my, my daughters who are young, um, they're millennials, and, and just to hear some of the things that they're saying, it's like, come on, you know? And so we can't say that it's an age thing, right? We, we can't say that, right? Because I don't care what age you are, you know what love and respect is. You know what transparency is. And so there's no excuse as an adult to put those co crazy, um, things around your relationship and expect it to survive. If you are not talking about having a split of sorts where you're going to be transparent about everything that happens in your relationship, then you should, in fact, at that point, decide whether or not you want to continue the relationship, but don't aim to come back into a relationship without setting some expectations um, on the table for the, each of you to meet. And folks, don't be one-sided. You know, if, if one's gonna do it, both of you have to do it, or else there's, there's no agreement. Um, it's an interesting conversation to have. I do suggest that um, you have it, the conversation amongst your friends and family. And people have very interesting takes on it. And again, this is about uh, the Will Smith and Jada Pinkett red table conversation. I hope that you see that uh, if there is to be anything left to um, salvaging a relationship, I, I would hope that at the end of the day, everything's based in love, um, whether or not you decide to stay together or split. Um, but 
it's got to be fair you know nobody wants to fight in an unfair fight um, and um, you know having these mysteries or these secrets about your entanglements um, do not they're not healthy um, and if you're gonna have these unhealthy situations uh, be aware that you're gonna have some unhealthy outcomes in the end